If you suffer from belching, chest pain, acid reflux after you eat, today's video is going to be extremely helpful because I'm going to share five natural ways to resolve acid reflux or GERD or heartburn. I'm going to share with you ways to soothe and heal the esophageal lining as well as invigorate your natural digestive process to get rid of GERD permanently. Let's dig into today's extremely powerful and helpful video. GERD or acid reflux or what we know as heartburn can be absolutely one of the most annoying and very common health conditions. In fact, one in four individuals suffers from some degree of belching after eating, burning, esophageal pain, nausea, even dental erosion, and sometimes pain that's so great, some people feel like they're having a heart attack. So today's video is delving into my naturopathic approach to resolving acid reflux or GERD. And the key focus is soothing and healing the mucosal lining of the esophagus and the stomach. That mucosal membrane is what is compromised and constantly being irritated by this acid reflux. And often a lot of medications you might be taking are doing more harm than good. And we'll review that as well. As a naturopath, my approach is a fourfold approach. One, we want to identify what incites or causes the GERD. Sometimes that's diet, sometimes it's medication, stress, and even esophageal imbalances. The second thing that we need to do is we need to strengthen the lower esophageal sphincter. That is literally this little kind of tissue that pops up and can often be really lax and not very strong and it won't seal tight the stomach contents. And so when it's lax, it pops up and that's where you get the acid reflux. So that's one of the things we will resolve today. My third technique is to really address the acid imbalances that is occurring in your body that is the underlying component with acid reflux. And fourth is to resolve and heal the mucosal membrane. So number one, first and foremost, we need to clean up your diet in a way that we are focusing on an anti-inflammatory related diet. Now this involves eliminating irritants like coffee or caffeine related products, sugar, dairy, spices, acidic foods like tomatoes can often cause irritation. Switching to cooling foods and anti-inflammatory foods will greatly benefit your overall diet when we're trying to resolve GERD. I'd like to recommend adding more fresh ginger, ginger tea, ginger powder into your daily regimen, as well as turmeric. Those two can be combined in teas. They can be added to a lot of your foods that you're consuming on a daily basis. Now, I also like to recommend consuming aloe juice. Aloe vera, the plant, is extremely cooling. Aloe vera is amazing for GERD, and you can actually consume the juice some people will consume the pulp and smoothies. Okay, so a third of the cup in the morning, a third of a cup in the afternoon, and maybe right before bed, can soothe and cool the esophageal and stomach mucosal irritations that the GERD is causing. Also reaching for cooling foods can help. Foods like cucumbers, bananas, berries, papaya, watermelon, as well as zucchini and all sorts of greens. Those are also powerful in lowering that inflammatory state of the esophageal lining and the stomach lining. Now, my second recommendation is power punch with clinical research. In fact, I have a dosage for you to take of melatonin. What research shows is that melatonin is influenced both by neurotransmitters as well as hormones and individuals who have GERD or heartburn or stomach acid imbalances it's because they have a deficiency in melatonin. What melatonin production does is it controls stomach acid production. So what happens, the intricacies of the digestive process, your stomach has to reach a certain pH level. Generally, GERD and heartburn in folks who have acid reflux have low concentrations of stomach acid. It's counterintuitive to probably what you think and may have been told, Many of you might be taking antacids, which is just not helpful. What we need to do is we need to increase the body's natural stomach acid production 
by adding melatonin supplementation at a dosage of three to six grams a day will be extremely powerful at invigorating your body's natural acid production. By age 30, a lot of things start to happen in our body. One of them is we have a decrease and decline in the natural stomach acid production by the body influenced by melatonin levels. So supporting your melatonin will actually enhance the neurotransmitter communication from your brain to your stomach, helping you resolve GERD. This is by far one of the most impactful and powerful ways to resolve GERD. And most of the time, you're not gonna hear this here on YouTube and definitely not in your clinician's office. If you're loving this content, give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you have ever been told melatonin can help resolve GERD. Let me know and let's continue on to tip number three. Certain herbs have been researched to be powerful in both their anti-inflammatory properties as well as promotive of the healing process to inflamed esophageal and stomach mucosal linings. Now there's two supplements that I recommend. These are professional grade supplements and you can find them in my full script store. I'll link down below. But the first thing is to add what we call a raft-like barrier supplement. This raft-like substance that's created comes from a mucosal protective trio called pectin, lecithin, and mucin. These three, when consumed around the time you're eating, will actually create this raft-like substance that literally prevents that sphincter this, the lower esophageal sphincter that's keeping contents inside the stomach, it'll, it'll protect it and basically keep it shut. So that's a great re resolution for individuals that have sphincter laxity. That sphincter should be closing appropriately, a lot of times from mechanical reason or inflammation or scar tissue from a lot of GERD-related symptoms over years, that can cause also laxity. So Reflexin is my product of choice you can see that right here and link to purchase that below. Number two is a master herbal blend called Gastro One. This has over 12 clinically researched herbals that also include zinc carnosine. These herbals show amazing benefit in clinical research to help support the healing and the re reduction of the mucosal irritation. And that particular version of zinc is also extremely beneficial. I recommend these two products to all my patients who have some degree of gastrointestinal imbalances or GERD or heartburn. Extremely powerful, that combination. In today's video, I'm excited to share, I'm going to be picking a comment winner. So comment down below in the first 24 hours of this video release. I will be picking one comment winner to receive the Reflexin and the Gastro One. That combination I'll be shipping to you via my full script store. So let me know in the comments how those two might benefit you and tell me a little bit about your experience with GERD and acid reflux. Now, number four is acupuncture. This has been clinically researched specifically in a course of four weeks, over 10 total treatments in the four weeks. Individuals have seen a massive reduction in the need for some of the PPIs. In fact, clinical research shows acupuncture is more effective than doubling your PPI dose in reducing acid reflux. There's a lot of things at play with acupuncture. One of the things that acupuncture does is it reduces stress, it reduces inflammation, and mechanically it can help strengthen that esophageal sphincter. Now number five, and this is also something acupuncture does, is it supports the tissues in and around the stomach. And I recommend at home diaphragmatic breathing. This is a very specialized deep belly type of breathing. If you do this for 30 minutes a day, patients experience massive changes in the strength of their lower esophageal sphincter. They also notate, because it's meditative, a reduction in stress levels. And there's a deep correlation between stress and acid reflux. So these are five powerful tips that you can deploy today to help you resolve acid reflux permanently. So my question of the day for you friends, out of these five tips, which one resonates 
with you the most? Or maybe there are a few. Which ones are you gonna try? Comment down below, let me know. I'll be reading these comments and I'm gonna choose a lucky comment winner to win a combo of the Reflexin and Gastro One. I will pick a comment winner after 24 hours of this video release. So comment down below, let me know your experience with Acid Reflex and GERD and how you think these two items might be beneficial for you. I would love to help you. If you like this video and the topic here, please follow me. I'll be producing an assortment of additional video content to help you heal and restore your body and create balance naturally. Thanks friends, and look forward to our next video in just a few days. Have a great day.